Kobe Sportswear, Canadian owned and manufacturer of high quality sports apparel and sold locally by Nova Trophy. Now located in Bears Lake and celebrating 40 years of service. Stop by today to get your team dressed in Kobe's best. John Moore here at the Pictou County Wellness Center, joined by Cape Breton West Islanders head coach Nick McNeil. Last year, an assistant this year, they had Nick. Uh, tell me a little bit about the, the season ahead. It's early yet, uh, but uh, tell me what, you're, what, what type of team you hope to ice this year for Cape Breton West. Yeah, you know, um, last year, you know, we had a, a great season, I think, uh, and uh, lost to Dartmouth in the uh, semis there. And, uh, you know, they went on to, uh, you know, do well. Atlantic came up just a goal short. And, uh, you know, I think we'll be a competitive team again this year. Um, I think we'll be, uh, you know, solid, solid in net. We'll have good defense and uh, we have some good forwards coming back. And, uh, yeah, I expect a, a good year from our team this year. And we'll be a competitive, hardworking team. Absolutely. As the head, uh, your first year as the head, uh, get to put your stamp on it. Not that your assistants are an important part, as we all know, but uh, what, what type of stamp do you hope to bring as the head? Um, I just want to bring, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, obviously most coaches want a hardworking team, but uh, I think I want to bring, you know, an honest uh, effort, you know, every night. Uh, a well-prepared team uh, will be prepared to go every night. And, uh, you know, having Kyle Duke as, you know, kind of a mentor for myself in this, in this league uh, for last, as last year, um, you know, I learned a lot from him. And, uh, you know, I'm going to bring some of the tendencies, tendencies that he used last year. And, uh, yeah, I'm really uh, I'm looking forward to getting things going. It's a little busier, I guess, uh, than, you know, than uh, last year a little bit. Not as much responsibility last year. But, uh, you know, this year I'm looking forward to making, you know, the, uh, the jump. So. I know it's early yet, as we say. But uh, can you give me a sense of who's going to be in that leadership group for the Islanders this season? Uh, yeah, you know, I think um, from, you know, last year, I look at a guy like uh, Darren Waterman, who had a, an excellent season for us last year. Um, you know, a guy like Sam Grant uh, and, you know, Matthew Ray got these veterans come back. Matty Ellis, too, especially. Um, and on defense, you know, it looks like, uh, you know, Del Welton, Neil McLean, Ben McClellan. Um, and, uh, you know, those guys are definitely going to play a lot of minutes for us this year. And, you know, they had good years last year, so I'm expecting them to, you know, take their game to the next level. Who do you expect to be the powers in the league this season? Um, from what I'm hearing, I think Cole Harbour is going to have a good team. Um, and, you know, all, mostly, you know, the Metro teams, as you know, um, they're always, they always ice good teams. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, the, the league, any, any team could beat anyone any night. I think that's a big thing. You know, our rivals, Cape Breton, are always, they always play us hard. Um, and, yeah, I think uh, the, the league this year should be – you know, pretty competitive as it always is. And, uh, you know, we're just, uh, we're looking to get things going uh, the first weekend in the Valley there, so. And finally, what do you consider is what will be the, your biggest challenge uh, as you head into the season, as your first year as the head with the team that you think you have assembled here? Uh, biggest challenge, I guess, would be, you know, um, we will have some rookies in the team this year. You know, I, I'd probably say at least half of them. Um, so I, I got to make sure that they're ready to go from the first, you know, first game of the season right to the last. Um, and, you know, and, and keeping them, you know, off the ice habits, stuff like that. Some kids, you know, uh, making that new step. Sometimes they don't realize how committed you have to be to be a good, you know, good elite hockey player. And this level is, uh, you know, this is top midget players, you know, in Nova Scotia. So uh, I'm just going to, you know, teach them and guide them, uh, you know, you know, they they are hockey players, but you know, there's more than life than hockey, and you know, you got to be a good person as well. So, thanks for this, Nick, and uh, good luck. We'll be following the season. Yeah, thank you very much.